Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Frankie here. Yes, we're in 4x3, standard 4x3, but you know what? I'm still using the camera that I have. You know, the one that I've had for, you know, one I just got not too long ago. It has a feature on there if I said I can go to, you know, I can go to widescreen if I want, or I, I can go to 4x3, or I can, you know, do 4x3 resolution if I want, or or whatever. I guess that's right, I gotta hold on to it. But we're going old school today because I have lots to talk about, and I was gonna make a longer video, and I might later on, or on the road, or whatever. Uh, the reason why I'm a Grand Forks today, in case you're wondering, is I'm, uh, well, my dad's having knee surgery over at the hospital, and I don't know why he couldn't have it in Roseau, which would be closer, but it's kind of nice to, to come down here to Grand Forks, uh, just to chill, mostly. I went and purchased some stuff at Walmart. I didn't have a whole lot of money, that, or Best Buy, I didn't have a whole lot of money to, to purchase a lot, but... I made it worth my while, nevertheless, as I always would. The first thing I picked up, something I never really heard of before, but because it was only a penny, it was on Blu-ray. Let me get it out here for you. It's a, a show called Game of Thrones. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this before. Uh, you win or you die. And I guess this is a, something that's on HBO. See, I don't really watch a whole lot of HBO anymore like I used to. Or I don't really watch much current HBO, uh, unless they have a good movie on here and there. But uh, this was only a penny, as you can see. One cent, and I thought, oh, you got to be kidding me. But what it is, is just a little promo, because they're releasing the first season here, I guess, from, uh, at least uh, Best Buy here, March 5th. And there's like a thing where you can, uh, if you like, uh, want to pre-order it, if you like it, after watching the, the, the sample or whatever, sample episode, uh... You can uh, pre-order for like five dollars, I believe, and they'll have it. I don't know if you still have to pay for the remainder of it or what, but I, I know you got to put five. You can put five dollars down, and they pre-order it for you, and then they let you know where it arrives. So that's kind of nice. It looks like a pretty good show. That I figure, well, for a penny, you can't go wrong. You, you just can't. I'd be a fool to pass that up because how often do you find stuff for a penny in Blu-ray? You know. <laughs> So, anyway, and then the last thing I got for ten dollars or nine ninety nine, I should say, uh, plus tax, of course. Uh, season six or volume six of the Three Stooges collection. I wasn't going to get. Uh, uh, I wasn't going to get. You know, I was going to just stop at volume five because uh, the Three Stooges, you know, and the original Three Stooges, and at at number five, you know, Larry Curly and and Mo, or Mo Larry Curly, but. I figure, well, it's not a big deal, you know. We'll we'll make it work. I, you know, I can I can get used to Shemp, and for ten dollars, it's not that, that's not a bad deal because the last few times that I bought them, the, the, those sets have cost like fifteen or twenty bucks, you know, for that. But anyway, so yeah, sorry I haven't been really been making many videos lately. I've just been kind of doing my own thing, just kind of taking a little bit of a break because even. Even though I spent eighty-five dollars on this camera, I, I believe that I also am fortunate enough to to be entitled to a break here and there. But I uh, I've been thinking a lot about you know what's going to go down here in this year of two thousand twelve. Now that we're here, now that well, actually, first thing I want to say you know to to the ones who uh, had an issue with the you know I I, I posted the, a video here about a week or so ago, a couple weeks ago probably about DVDs that I was selling. And a lot of people thought, pretty much anybody, everybody that I, I just about commented on that last video, thought that I was asking too much for, for DVDs and too much for Blu-ray, or for box sets. And I don't think I was asking that much. I, you know, I think my prices were pretty fair. $5 for a DVD, uh, $10 for or more for a box set, depending on how big it is and how lengthy it is or whatever. And I will let you know, now that it's, the sales have, is pretty much winding down, I made well over three hundred dollars, probably over four hundred dollars, uh, in, in just DVD, just in the few DVDs and uh, Blu-ray or in box sets that I sold. There's a lot of people that actually had no problem uh, with uh, what I was asking. You know, they thought five dollars was fair, especially around here in this area, where they don't really have. You know, like I'm a Grand Forks right now, but 
uh, you know, I live in Greenbush, and in that area, there really is not a whole lot that uh, my er the area offers for video stores or, or stuff like that. you got to travel to other towns in order to, to, to find a Walmart or, or, or Kmart or a good store or even a Best Buy like right here. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, I just kind of want to let you guys know that, that if, you know, I, I figured five dollars for a DVD and a ten dollars more for a box set was a good idea. <coughs> I figured that was fair because I had to make a little bit of money, even with shipping and stuff. Because shipping is pretty expensive, and anybody that knows uh, that's ever, you know, had to ship anything, you know, regardless of how they do it, they know that it does cost some money. So to the, to those of you who made a big issue about what I was charging or whatever, I guess you know, foo on you because you know you you missed out on a good opportunity to. You know, and, and, and this is where I was hitting the real DVD collectors out there that, you know, you know, you know they, they can, they'll pay other prices for, for DVDs that they buy from the store, but when someone's selling them for cheaper than what you would pay at the store, <clears throat> and all of a sudden, some people had some issues with that. I couldn't understand that, but whatever. I'm happy. I, I was successful, you know. There's more people on Facebook that, that, uh, that I'm friends with that bought, that bought what I had out, had available anyway, so, oh well, maybe next time uh, I have something up for sale, maybe you won't be so hasty about it, and I'm not saying this to everybody, I'm just saying it's the ones that uh, commented in the last video that had an issue with what I was charging, anyway, so on to that, uh, which leads us to my last subject for today, I, I was going to make a longer video, but I figured, well, uh, I just want to kind of get a little update it's going to be kind of an update video here uh, for what I'm talking about. And that's why we're going to 4x3 because I said not everything was going to be in a widescreen. Some things would be in a widescreen, not everything would be. But uh, anyway, so that's why we're going 4x3 today. Going old school, but I'm sure the quality is just as good as it would be in a widescreen. Anyway, so uh, I was thinking a lot because I'm going to be going this summer. My, my goal is to save up some money, uh, not to spend it on Blu-rays or DVDs. That's kind of the purpose of why I you know, spent, or why I, you know, bought, or, you know, sold some DUDs and stuff, because I want to make a little bit of money. Well, so I can save a little bit for my upcoming trip to Astoria, Oregon. Uh, with that, and with me trying to lose a little bit of weight, you know, it all takes time, but time is definitely on my side for this, for both of these goals. Uh, and I think I'll be successful in both. I was successful in 2008, and I know I can be successful four years later in 2012. I don't know exactly the date of when I'm going to be going. But I do know that one of the big things that I want to do. And I was thinking about this very long, very hard. Uh, not as a way to get make money. But as a way to maybe promote myself a little bit. Uh, to, to do something that... You know, like two years ago, Sean and MJ, they made an Around the Town movie. Okay, well they went cross country. Okay, they went cross country from Baltimore, Maryland, or Towson, Maryland, to San Diego, California. Uh, and then last year, we all remember that uh, wet movie. Uh, that was kind of my little film debut. Made a dot or made a movie, kind of his, uh, kind of videotaped his trip, his uh, Graves and Sean's trip to Las Vegas, and they're out and about duty. And I have both of them. But I was thinking, how cool would it be? And, and I'm kind of excited about this because after thinking about the fact that this camera can hold a lot of information and stuff, uh, I just want to make sure that I have either a big enough fan base or a, enough people interested. But I think I'm going to do it either way. Uh, I want to do, when I go to Astoria, Oregon, I want to do like a two to three hour documentary on my entire trip. And then do kind of the same with bonus features and stuff. Have a couple of features and put it on a DVD whether it be one DVD or two DVDs, and have somebody like make a cover for me and everything once it's once I've gone and once it's happened, uh, and then maybe be able to sell it for like five or ten dollars a piece, and and then uh, you know share it with friends and family and stuff and, and and stuff like that because I have always wanted to do a documentary, let alone be a be an actor to act in a film, but I think I'd make a good host, you know. For like a documentary because I have a good speaking voice and and I and I think with my background in radio and stuff that it would definitely and and YouTube it would definitely come full circle for me. So my my question is to you guys: 
if I ever decide to do this, you know, once I go on my trip and everything, and once it's been recorded and everything, uh, would this be something that you guys would be interested in, in, in watching? If I put it, this all on DVD and did it the same way Sean and MJ did theirs and, and uh, what movie did his, a kind of combination of the two, uh, would this be something that you'd be, you as viewers would be interested in seeing? Because this is touring Astoria, Oregon, but also possibly get inside the Goonie house finally this time because last time we weren't able to because the lady was not there at the time, which I knew that going into it. But this time uh, it could probably be arranged to where it would be good. Where it could happen, because this will be in the summertime. Either June, July, or August. But I'm probably going to say somewhere between June and July. You know, either the beginning or end of June, or beginning, probably middle or to end of July is when I want to do this. Because uh, my sister's having a baby here in June, and so I probably should probably stick around just in case that happens. But after that happens, I want to probably be in July for sure of when I want to go. But... Anyway, so that's just what I wanted to, you know, let you guys know. Other than that, everything's going good, you know, not a whole lot else going on. Uh, I just want to go old school because some, sometimes in these videos, I will go back to 4x3 so I can talk a little bit more or show more clips or whatever. Today, it's just simple. I went to Best Buy. Uh, I'm going to go meet up with a friend here a little bit who works at Subway and at the Walmart over there. And then I'm going to go back to the hospital and, and see... What's going on with dad after his surgery and all that. So, other than that, that's about all that's going down. Just want to give you kind of a heads up or, or what's going down, going down. I think the next DVD or next video I do will be some of the highlights, some of the DVDs and Blu-rays that I have purchased here in the last few, couple months since the last time I did one. I have purchased a lot. I'm trying to upgrade a little bit here and there. Not all, not all of them, but just a few of my favorite titles because I just recently got Back to the Future on Blu-ray and Grease on Blu-ray, and the Ghostbusters, and the, the original Batman from 1989, and a few others that are my favorites, and that's what I'm going to do. So, anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson, hope you guys enjoy these videos, and let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.